What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And today, we're in the Ultimate Maid's Room. You wouldn't know that because I was, uh, you know, destroying everything in the room so I could get mono coins so that maybe I could potentially, possibly, I don't know, do the casino. But, uh, that's fine. We'll do that eventually. Anyway, I also noticed Keo was in here conveniently, and we wanted to talk to Keo because Keo is one of my characters that are like the unsung like he caro caros the unsung characters that i enjoy so let's talk to kyo we talked to him once already and we didn't get the thing so i don't think i need to give him a present and i will still get the rank up but we'll find out do you understand faith taken to such an extreme as this has brought tragedies to the world over i hope that no such tragedies befall us should I hang out with Kyo today? Yes, we should. Because honestly, yes. um, <laughs> part of the reason why I want to talk to Kyo is he's the ultimate anthropologist. And right now we kind of have a weird situation with Kimiko. And I'm like, uh, come on. I need I need some like reassurance. And who do I go for reassurance about uh, that kind of stuff? Kyo. Ah, of course. Let us discuss the history of the tragedy together. Yes, let's do that. I spent time with Kyo today. Kyo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyo a present? I think we should just because, but I'm not gonna like spend a big item on Kyo. We'll we'll give Kyo that. Let's see. The desire to do something for someone, I understand it well. But it's not necessary to consider what will make that person happy. Is that all right? Kyo, the difference between anthropology, history, and archaeology. <laughs> They're often confused, so your question is reasonable. To that question, they are different. Uh, they are different. Maybe, or, uh, to that question, they are different. Maybe a possible answer. Let's see. History is records. Anthropology is buildings and relics. Or archaeology is buildings and relics. Anthropology is folklore and customs. History studies events and changes in countries or regions across time. Archaeology traces the course of humanity through physical remains. Anthropology is the study that examines the thought behind traditions and customs. Uh, um, ah, I kind of understand it, but I kind of don't. If you think of humanity at the core of anthropology, it should become clear. From people from, com, or from people come feelings... Those feelings intersect and become tradition. At least, that is my stance on the matter. Hmm. The feelings intersect. Yes. yes. Customs and folk tales only occur in places where people can share them. Sorry. I am sorry, but I am not familiar with such things. Is that so? But you encounter anthropology on a daily basis. For example, occult stories on the internet have their roots in folklore. Someone on the journey committing a uh, taboo in a mountain village, for example. You're right. That's true. I hear that often. Various mytho mythologies are frequently referenced in anime, manga, and video game. A character's background can be viewed through the lens of anthropology. Tools and houses in the background, jobs, speech, clothing, or food. With the proper knowledge, such things can help you understand more deeply. Without it, such clues just go to waste. Mm. Well, that's fascinating. The knowledge would be very useful. <laughs> It seems I've piqued your curiosity. Let us talk more. Well then, what image does the word Kappa call to mind, sweet she? A monster with a plate on its head. A furry monster that looks like a monkey. Uh, we'll go with the, the cool big brother. Uh, um, the cool big brother? Oh. How? Huh? Why do you say that? That's... It... Ah, it's from a video game. I see. Oh, I see. It's just a recent trend. I have failed in my studies, it seems. Hmm. The monster with the plate on its head is probably the most famous. I see. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly right. And yet, listen, it is anthropology's impossible for the mental images of a kappa on a map, huh? or to match. Impossible. Yes. Originally, monsters had no form, for they were based in people's emotions. The image of the kappa is accumulation of many different people's thoughts. An ancient fear was changed over the many years into a creature that we can identify. Culture is constantly changing. Anthropology changes or chases those changes. Thus, 
I must keep a present or keep the present in mind while I learn about the past customs. Show me your thoughts. So, it is unexpectedly deep, yes? You're right. Yeah, profound. Correcchio, report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Woo! Okay. My next person I wanted to talk to in uh, free time. We learned anthropology, return to our room. If we get another free time event, <laughs> which I would hope we do, Kibo is my next target. Because we, I, I don't have, I haven't had time with Kibo yet. There's still some time left. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, well, never mind. There's not time left, apparently. We're going to get ding-dongs at the door. Huh? I guess that's Kaido, but is he here to train already? We weren't supposed to train at night. It's a little early. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Then the moment I open the door. Sh Shuichi, run. Huh? Well, huh? What happened? Damn. Don't just stand there. Run. Hurry. He's coming. What happened? Who's coming? What? Huh? Kaido risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffened up in fear. Damn it. He's already here. Hurry. Shuichi, run. Shuichi. If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. Who? Ah. Kaido. Kaido then gave his ominous warning and ran away at the speed of light. Huh? Whoa, what? Who are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the doorway to discover Kaido was... Who... What? Kaido was terrified by. Huh? What? Ganta's gone Super Saiyan! Excuse me, what? That's Ganta, isn't it? But he looks different. What's going on? It looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door soon. I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. Agreed. Why are you going Super Saiyan, Ganta? Careful to avoid alert alerting Ganta, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. What was that all about? What was Ganta up to? Yeah. <gasps> Ryoma. From the looks of it, you ran away from Ganta too? Ah. Ryoma. What now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to catch everyone. Hmm. He was charging right at me at top speed. Huh? He threw himself right at you, but man you managed to get away? That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I used the Shukuchi method, a technique from my tennis days. Like a flash step, you know? Of course. I've gotten a little rusty since back in the day, but You've still got a ways Ganta to go. still got a ways to go. He won't be able to catch me like that. Shukuchi, Ryoma must have been an incredible player back in the day. By the way, I'm sorry for saying something so uncool as I've got no reason to live. Huh? huh? Oh, you don't need to apologize for that. Whatever. I'm going to say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I would waste my life. I only said that because I was jealous of you. Why? Jealous? Yeah. If I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try my best alongside you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. When I looked to find, uh, or I looked to find what scared Ryoma, I saw. Oh no! There you are. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Gonta? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No, Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Gonta charged at us like a, uh, at us like a runaway train, and then I lost consciousness. I didn't even feel the impact. I didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself, "Is this what it's like to die?" I can't die yet. Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. Hi, Kokichi. What's going on? Huh? What? <laughs> Are you going to ask who am I and where am I? The latter of the two questions, yes. Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... Hmm, I guess hell. You know what? You're not wrong. Hell? 
<laughs> I shook my head, confused, and I looked around. Hmm. Oh, we got uh, Kokichi first. Why is he bringing us all here? Is this... Oh, you're awake. This is the ultimate entomologist research lab. What? The ultimate entomologist lab? Why? Oh, I remember. I was attacked by Ganta and then... That's correct. The same is true for the rest of us. We were all seized by Ganta and brought here. Um... But Shuichi, the only ones who got knocked out. By the way. <laughs> Ganta apologized for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? But what is this anyway? Why is Ganta do, do this? Be it's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy. My eyes followed where Samigi was pointing. <laughs> oh, Kokichi. There's no use trying to escape. Ganta will just catch you again. Oh, my God. Kokichi, why did you stir the pot up no. for this time? Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Ganta kidnap us? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Um, as soon as I told him that everyone who hates... Or as soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would like... Or he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. that and that's why you're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Oh, God, the thought up with the name. So if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. You're terrible. You tricked right. Gonta. Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could have done something so evil. Kokichi, Kokichi why are you doing this? Ah. Oh, I thought uh, that we could play our, or we could throw ourselves a little screening party with our all of our videos. Uh, See, with all of you here, exchanging our mother videos wouldn't be difficult at all. <laughs> and I want you to see. I want to see your vi I want to see your videos too. So I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please wait. Do you know what will happen if you do that? Um, um, everyone will know their motive, and the killing will more will be more likely to happen. But, but, like I, playing on me, but I like playing on mean difficulty. I also don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not gonna run from it. I'm gonna crush it. So exciting. That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? The hell does that mean? See. I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to do this, then I'm going to enjoy myself and go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win, understood? Strangely, I could detect no evil in that smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frolicking child. Although perhaps it was just another lie. Thank you for waiting. Gonta bring Himiko and Angie. What? Huh? Himiko and Angie too? Aww. Oh man. I was gonna about to take a break too. I just finished all the prep work. Uh, eh, what is the meaning of this? Himiko! Himiko! Are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster, you know? It's okay. Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make you feel better? Stop it. No. Hey. Hey, Gonta. Are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Oh, Kurumi's at the gym, but she tell Ganta she too busy. Mm -hmm. And you just let her go. Atua has spoken. Atua says Kurumi fulfills any requests someone makes for her, like a mommy. Hey. And ah, uh, she's not a mom though. Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Ganta can disturb her. Sorry. Sorry. No, not even Ganta strong enough to overcome Kurumi. Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing we can do about her. All the others are still hiding somewhere. Um. Oh, Gata see Mew, but Gata get face get red hot, so Gata could not bring her. Mm -hmm. Your face got red hot. Oh, you mean you were hot on her tail, right? <laughs> uh no, uh she used her what she call it? Secret woman weapon and then <laughs> Oh no! She, did she flash her tits? Is that what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! That's such a mew thing to do. Let me like distract you real quick and then run away. That's a mew thing. Anyway, this enough of people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to a smashing start. Maybe. 
Yeah, sure. This is good enough. We should be able to move to the main event anyway. Gata, don't be deceived. He's just trying to adopt us all. Huh? Really? Oh, no. This is going to be an insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gata. Oh, more than Gata? Amazing. You like bugs that much? It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Now, Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful the bugs are. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be right back. So don't let any of them leave, okay? Right. I'll try to... If they try to leave, it means that you really gotta show them why bugs are so great. Mm. Mm, got it. Could it be... Wait, you're leaving. Yeah. Of course, someone's gotta break into your rooms and get the goods, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lockpicking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. Hey. What? You're going to enter a girl's room without permission? I must. It seems that I must take care of this with my talent. Kokichi, I will stop. You're so yeah, yeah. I don't have any time to listen to some robot. Um, Let's see. It's exactly 9 p.m. right now, so I should be back by nighttime. Well, have fun with the bugs till then. Kokichi then left the classroom. <laughs> it appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? What should we do? At this rate, it'll end in... Up as a motive this screen video screening party. <laughs> uh, my Neo Aquino is no match for Gata's superhuman strength either. We still have a chance when Kikichi comes back. This is when I will take care of this. Everyone, please endure it till then. Huh? Endure it. Everyone, play nice. Okay, now we start with the fun fact insect meet and greet. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me that this was hell. It appears that was not a lie. The incredible specimens gave off the appearance of a vigor and vitality. They were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do is run around the room and panic. The nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. The insect meet and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by night time. Ah, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! <coughs> Himiko, hold on! This is not good. The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <coughs> Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us, he finally came back. Those, these bugs are everywhere. How nice. I mean, how nice. Oh. oh, you come back, Kokichi. Come, we have fun. Everyone, play nice. We gotta have so much fun. Mm. You know, as much as I said I'd love to do that, maybe we should call it a day, huh? See? Those bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? Right. Oh, got to understand. Hey. So, you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kokichi's hands were full of several cups pads. What's going on, Tanko? Uh, no. I'm still okay. As a disciple of Neo Aquino, it'll take more than that to break my composure. Ah, Tanko. There's a big old bug on your back. Wait. Calm down, Tanko. I frantically I frantically swatted the bug off of her. No. It's okay. There were bugs everywhere. It's no wonder you. Male. I don't need help from a male. <laughs> Clearly I haven't trained enough. As soon as I escape this place, I will return to my master and resume my training. Understandable. I'm sorry, Tanko. Kokichi's being a little bit of a prankster, funky, wonky buddy that decides to just do things. He shouldn't. Angie. What a divine time. My island is full of creepy crawly or crawlers. This many bugs doesn't even bug me. <clears throat> That's good. Arranged books. Oh, we already knew that. Okay. The cast that's in here is cool. Oh my gosh. Kyo. How terrifying. And so, we have escaped from the new hell, or the ma hell, of hell itself. Somehow. Somehow we did that. Hi, Kibo. Everyone. Thank you for enduring it. Everyone, this is our the last chance. Please leave the, re leave the rest to me. 
You guys okay? You look like all drowned sewer rats. That's because you're late. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. Oh, now. Dad. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But look. <laughs> Cubs pads. Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to people who aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. We said we don't want to. Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's start it already. Start what? Well, yeah. Oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. Just keep watch of these guys. Don't. That's, enough. That's it. I will not let you do as you please. Huh? huh? I, also... I did not want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. But that's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Kibo, what are you going to do? Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. And spun a mechanical part there. He's lighting up? Is he gonna self-destruct or... Huh? Whirring sounds. Wow. Is there a disc? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. <gasps> oh my god, what did Kokichi say? The tape? Right there. Kibo shouted and pushed his palm against his ear. Then what? Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Wow! This is such a good skill for Kibo to have! Could this be... How about this? So, what do you think? You just saw my order audio recording function for the first time. Did he really just whip up an audio recorder? Like some sort of secret weapon? Really? It's a cassette tape? In this day and age? But it's a metal tape, you know? The sound quality isn't the issue. Let's just put that aside from now. But more importantly, it seems to have worked. Kokichi, what you mean you not like bugs? Man, now it's boring. You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was a lie? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. Oh, so it not live. Then God's a happy. Let's have fun with the bugs all night. Hey, bugs. Do you want to pet? Who wants to pet more bugs? Uh, Everyone. We must run while we still can. Wait, we need to take back our cubs pads first. Tenko uh, snatched the Cubs pads from Kukichi. Ah, oh. Then we all ran out of the lab. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kukichi screaming. Hmm. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um. So, how do we return the Cubs pads back to their rightful owner? Jeez. Um... If only the Mono Cubs were here, they'd surely help us. Mono Dom! Yes! Help us, boy! You're my best boy -o. Oh, it's just you. It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, you're gonna help us get out of here. Thank you, buddy. I love you. I love you. You're my S you're my number one character at this moment. Okay. Uh. Um, it's about the Cubs pads. Kokichi brought them to us, and I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. Thank you, Monodom! Wow, he left. Well, that was abrupt. But out of all of them, we, he can probably trust that one, right? Well, then. We shall go back to our dorms. It is well past night time. <laughs> That's true. We have a magic show tomorrow. Because of all of this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll still be a divine show. Yeah. We'll be waiting for you to come and watch. Hmm. We'll be waiting, she says. It's Himiko's show, not yours. Uh, um... I, I suppose it's all right. I just remembered. 
I wasn't able to train with Kaido today. Too bad. We can do it tomorrow, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Stop, game! I I want my boy -o. I need my boy -o to be alive, okay? We keep throwing out the... It's not like Kaido's gonna die or anything. Ah! Can we not? Worn out from all the comp our commotion, we drag ourselves to the back of our in back to our rooms. Now, is Monodom gonna be sneaky? It's close to midnight now, and tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and fell asleep quickly. I'm worried that Monodom might be sneaky. Monokuma Theater. I still. I, I need a miracle. You pray, right, while you're working and living by gambling, but miracles happen every day. For example. Do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a car junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. And that's why being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day, and life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of Hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Oh, yeah. Bing bong. Ding dong. Bing bong. Are we going to just have Monodom, or is it going to be all four of them? It'll probably be all four of them this time. Rise and shine or shine. Where's Monosuke? I do love the way that they did the morning announcements, though, in this one. Because it's not the same line of text that I want to skip over every time. Each day is a different day and has a different kind of thing. So I appreciate that. It is now oh, there's Monosuke. Okay. So wake up. Ah, uh, he's left. Oh, he left. Monosuke is so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Monosuke. All right. It's a little early, but go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. It'll be 10 p.m. later anyway. It's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. So Ooh, they're not getting along with each other at all at all. Hmm. Today is the day of Himiko's magic show, right? But the insect fiasco yesterday and now this, do we really have time to be doing this kind yeah. of stuff? Well... I suppose I shouldn't think about it very much, and I'll go to the gym for now. Okay, we just jetty over to the gym real quick. Just walk. I, I might as well run over there for the experience. Um, and I'll meet you guys at the gym unless something crazy happens. But I'm one of those I run for the experience a lot of the time. I will warp, like, with the Kyo scenario. But, and, like, oh, hi, Kibo. You know what? Actually, this helps. Kibo. Good morning, yes. Kibo. Good morning, Suichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last okay. night? I'm fine, but are you all right? 100%. Yes, I'm fine. I'm totally recharged with the electricity that I need on my recording function. Even so, I'm happy. Oh, crap. What are we happy about? What are we happy about? Even so, I'm very happy that I was finally able to use my functions to help everyone out. Kibo's recording function is not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did, in fact, help a lot. Yes, Thanks to you, Kibo. You've really earned your title as the ultimate robot. Well, of course. Oh, it was nothing, really. If you ever need my help again, or for anything, please do not hesitate to ask. Very um, sure I will. So the magic show is starting soon, yes? Everyone is probably gathered in the gym already, so we should get going. Yep. Agreed. I almost got the, went the wrong way and then realized, wait a minute. What? John, that's the wrong way. Also, I still want... Did I go... Did I say I was going the wrong way by going the wrong way? That is such a me thing to do. Yep, I totally did. I'm like, I'm going the wrong... I'm going the wrong way. Let me fix my path thing. Nope, you go in the right way. It's fine. Dude, it's right here. It's, I always forget. Because the little purse doesn't ring to me as like a workshop area. And so I'm like, oh. Like it... It's not... Yeah. That's probably going to be Angie. Oh, that's Kirumi. We have to talk to Kirumi, too. Kirumi. Hey, oh, Kirumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone just already gathered for the show. 
Ah, is that right? I suppose I'm looking forward to it. Mia was particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. By the way, it would seem that there's more outrageous events that transpired last night. Hey. Yeah, Kokiji tried to trick Gata into going along with his motive video screening plan. But thanks to Akiba, we put a stop to that. It's okay. I see. I see. So Kokichi does truly intend to oppose us. Please. No matter. Ahead. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Yep. Kokichi is being a baddie. And we don't like it. But we're here. We like that's what matters. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you'd have a real stage set up. Did you, you and Himiko do all no, of this? No. No, no. That would be impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaido and Kiyo carried equipment and Himi from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kurumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit, though. No. Atua deserves all the credit for all of our actions. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit, though? Yes, Shuichi. Exactly. Oh, oh well. I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you would be useful for Gosh. anyway. Did you really have to say that? I don't know. Anyways, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not done ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves a little bit. The star of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> Shudder, tremble, quiver. She's shaking like a leaf. Could it be... Himiko, are you a bit nervous? Uh, just, 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 a, just a little bit. Certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I will be performing today is the Extreme Water Magic Underwater Escape Act. I've never successfully cast it before, but it's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before. Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there will be a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. And I will be pureed. Huh? Pureed? This is looking a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly. But I do see the fish swimming around. All those... Those all are piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas either. Hmm. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Wait! The piranhas are way too dangerous! Ah, oh. oh, Tanko. Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. With my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um... Himiko, are you serious? There's no way I can stop now since Atua is watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atua! Angie has brainwashed you! What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Mm. Well, I... I can do it. I am a skilled young girl because I am a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. <laughs> uh, of course I believe in your magic. You are my precious friend. Tenko. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? I said my prayers and I want to pee. And I went pee. Then let's get the show started. It's starting already, but not everyone's here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaido aren't here. What happened to Kaido? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. I'm hoping Thank Kaido's. You, Atua, for being with us today. I'm really hoping that Kaido's being like the ultimate fake out right now. You're supposed to thank us first. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko. <laughs> the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, underwater escape act. 
If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. Is Himiko about to when the die? When the camera above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. She's only got 60 seconds? Angie, are you trying to kill her? Is she your blood sacrifice for a Tua? After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened. Because this, she's not directly killing here. If by some miracle, Himiko has been doubled up, please give a big round of applause. Just kidding. It's a joke. Are you feeling all right? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Got to worry. Got to have bad feeling. Uh, Atua. Please protect Himi. No! Wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's stick. Oh. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Begin the amazing Himiko's magic show. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. In her typical high pitched voice, Himiko made the announcement and started the timer. Then she took a deep breath and dove into the water tank. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We started silently waiting. I clenched my fist nervously. My palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out. She went in mere moments ago. Well, well do you think she's all right? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out. Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore. Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, Wait, and Gonta? ran up onto the stage. Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko. Huh? Um, less than ten seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This dress is sad for my heart. Himiko! Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water of shadowing shapes inside fell straight into the water tank that Himiko was swimming huh? within. Huh? Look! The piranhas! Got it. I'm opening it now. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. What? No! I literally just was... No! I literally, not even an hour ago... Just commented on how I really want Ryoma to stay alive because he's one of the easiest voices to actually freaking do. Oh my god. I literally, like, okay, I should probably acknowledge it now. I was planning on acknowledging it at the beginning of the video, but, you know, might as well do it at the end of the video. You guys have been doing such an amazing job with supporting this series. The first episode literally entered my top 10, like, on the entirety of the channel. And so I was, I've been responding to everybody's comments because I do that as long as, you know, we're not spoiling in anything. Because, you know, it's a blind playthrough, so that's why I have the reaction the way that I... Why? I... Another man has dropped off the face of the earth. 
Oh my god. It took me a few minutes for all of us to even process it. I don't know. I don't know who I feel like. Again, it's it's hard because I like everyone. Like I like this cast, so it's like even Himiko, I didn't really want to die, especially in that manifest, especially with it being. Oh <gasps> wait, Angie, why did you get boys' blood for a Tua? Then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Because Ryoma's a male. Now now she's got male blood for Atua. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Angie's my number one culprit. has been discovered everyone please gather in the gym where are you almost there yeah. huh? a body in the gym then when himiko turned back to look at the water tank da -da 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 -da. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Deadly life. In the next episode, if we don't get just jumped in, which we might. Okay, yeah, well, that's good. Because I'm going to start recording the next episode anyway. So, in the next episode of Danganronpa B3 Killing Harmony, we're going to tackle the investigative portion of deadly life and hell. Maybe today I actually get to freaking do the trial. Maybe not. That's probably unlikely to happen. But still... God, Angie, uh, you're my number one suspect. Not necessarily because I want you to die, but because it all makes sense. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And thank you for supporting the series as much as you guys have. Oh, boy.